So where are you taking me, Alistair? All the way to Chisumbungi. What's in Chisumbungi? That's lots of sugar cane. <laughs> and not a lot else. Zimbabwe is a, a landlocked country and we don't have any of our own fuel or oil. And basically the government wants to try to be as much energy independent as possible. So we've got two estates. This is the, the main one called Chisumanji. And there's about 6,000 hectares here of sugarcane. Greenfields is a renewable energy company. We produce two main products. Uh, the first is the ethanol for motor fuel for vehicles. This is the Chisumanji ethanol plant. Basically we're converting um, sugar, sugar cane to ethanol. And then the second is uh, energy that we put back onto the national grid. <laughs> we're located in the southeast corner of Zimbabwe down here in a place called the Low Fells. So he's my brother and it's a, very much a family business. We've always wanted to do mechanized harvesting. Uh, people don't want to be cutting cane anymore. We did a lot of hand cutting in the beginning, in the early days. Um, but since the machines have come, we've, we've phased out the hand cutting completely. Ten hand cutters will take the whole day to do what this does in an hour. It was a, a challenge to begin with, I must be honest, because when we started, there was a law that we had to put an advert out for harvester operators, but we knew there was none in the country. So, but it's the first sugar farm we've done. It's been quite a big learning curve. We got, I don't know, a hundred people saying, yes, I've got experience on sugarcane harvesters, but we knew it wasn't true. So we had to start from the beginning. We had a lot of assistance and help from Case IH, and we keep continue having that, you know, training for our, our mechanics and our staff and our operators. Um, the equipment has, has been really phenomenal, to be honest. They've got minimum uh... Uh, breakdowns and they use minimum fuel compared to like 300 percent to cut cane in the field. Some of our harvesters are over 10,000 hours without touching the engines, you know, and these conditions in this climate with the heat is really good. So we've got the auto tracker which adjusts the base cutter height automatically. We've got the smart cruise which is like a cruise control and then you've got the auto guidance, which is particularly helpful in the green cane where it's quite thick and they can't see. We're trying to work towards harvesting green cane as opposed to burning. So is this all green cane here? This is all green cane, yes. The goals are to be as environmentally friendly as possible, you know, try and put all the mulching back on the ground to improve the soil. A lot of farmers farm with their gut and what they see and what they feel. But I think technology can help make a lot better decisions, more informed decisions. We totally invested in, in case and uh, they've proven. Mm -hmm.